perfect, okay? So if your quadratic equation is not in standard form, put it in the highest power and then no power at the very end. So start with the highest and no power at the end. And it should equal to zero. Number two, McKenna, can you help me redo? Perfect. Roger, can you help me read three? Substitute A, B, and C into the quadratic formula. Good. Miss Amanda, can you help me read four? Simplify square roots and fractions. Good. Simplify all the square roots and all fractions. Here we go. Anybody remember from algebra one? What was the quadratic formula? Zoe? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me write. X equals negative B. One more time. Wait, 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 slowly. Square root. Close, not 4AC. There's something before. No, not negative. Square root of. What's under the radical? Someone said it? B square. What else? Minus. What else? 4 times A times C. What is it? All over 2A. Write this in your notes. If you don't have it memorized from Algebra 1, please. Is it in this room somewhere? I know. It's right there. Okay, so write in your notes. Do you have to know this formula? Yes. It will follow you until the end of your math career days. Here we go. Examples one and two, solve using the quadratic formula, okay? Anybody remember in Algebra one, your Algebra one teacher help you memorize it by singing or a chant or anything at all? Oh. Did you remember this saying? I didn't know this song. He made like an acronym for each. Yeah. What was the acronym? Well, what was the um, saying? It was like, it's a boy, a very negative, negative boy. A very negative boy. Radical from Trump. Yeah. I don't know, it was weird. And something about twins squared. Did it help you remember the formula? No. Nope. When I remembered it, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have another saying from your teacher, algebra one teacher? Okay. If you don't, just write it down every time you do your homework. Okay? Here we go. Solve using the quadratic formula. Step number one says identify A, B, and C. Um, it's already in standard form, so I don't have to worry about moving stuff around. So, Gemma, what are A, B, and C? A is? What are our values for A, B, and C? I can't hear you at all. I'm so old. I just need to know A, B, and C, honey. What are those? Consult your team. If you. Should you say that you're just not Sorry. X I'm. Squared. X squared. Thank you. I'm Like I said, I'm really old. Uh, close. Not X squared. A is just what? One. Just one. Okay. So, Gemma, what's B? Much better. And C is perfect. Okay. Brandon C, what is the quadratic formula? The formula and only formula, sir. X equals to what? No, not plug in. Just give me the formula so we can rewrite this multiple times. Thank you, sir. Okay. So now let's plug it in. Here we go. Miss Victoria, what is our negative B value? Currently, isn't B already negative 7? Yeah. So what's negative of a negative 7? Positive 7. Okay, plus or minus. B is negative 7, so I need to quantity that square. I want to make that a little bit. Okay. Minus 4 times. Madison, what's our A value? 1. Great. And then Emma, he's not here. Emma H, what's our C value? Nine. Good. All over two times. 
Grace, what's our a value again? Perfect. Now we have to simplify another radical. x equals 7 plus or minus negative 7 squared. Aaron is what? Thank you, sir. Minus 4 times 9. Gabe is what? Thank you, sir. All over 2. 49 take away. Brooke, 36 is? So it's just 49 take away 36. Great. Okay. My question to you, class, can I simplify rad 13? No. So box this up as my exact solution. I know, whoever has a nice phone. Okay. So if your direction says find the exact answer, can I leave it like that? Yes. Great. Now, but if your direction says round to two decimal places, then this is where your calculator is going to come in. Guys, one of the answer is 7 plus rad 13, bless you, divided by 2. And then the second answer is x equals 7 minus rad 13 divided by 2. So now everybody has a calculator. Punch it in. What I would like for you to do is 7 plus rad 13. Hit enter. Then divide by 2. And I give you decimal round to two decimal places. Okay? I'm preparing you for exact answer and decimal answers. Once you have your two decimal answers in rounding to two decimal places, can you turn shoulder partner, back partner, front partner, and compare the answers, please? <coughs> Mr. Braden, can I get the first answer? Five point what? Three. Two decimal places. Zeros. Someone confirm that for me? Confirm. Thank you. Uh, Baron, can you give me the second answer, please? Okay, I'll wait. One point six nine. Someone confirm? One. Whoa, 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 one more time. One point seven zero. Okay. One point seven zero. Because it says two decimal places, so make sure we round it correctly. So, class, can you find it using exact answer? Can you use a calculator if I ask decimals? Yes. Perfect. Now, example two, the last example of today. Why don't you and your team take a two-minute head start, and then. Start. If you haven't gotten the quadratic formula memorized, try again. The more you write, the more it will stay in your brain. <clears throat> Daniel, what are A, B, and C? Perfect. Hopefully you identify your ABCs. That way it will allow you to plug it in correctly. Some of you already have the exact answer. Some of you are doing the last step of punching in your calculator. Dylan, can you give me and only give me the formula, okay? What's the formula? Perfect. Okay. Okay. So let's plug it in. X equals 
James, what do we write after x equals? Negative 6 plus or minus. Remember, what's your b value on question 2? Oh, negative 2. Negative 2. So class, minus a minus 2 is now what? A positive 2. Plus or minus, big radical, negative 2 squared, minus 4 times. Chance, what's, what are our a and c value? Perfect. Thank you. So 2 times a, which is 6. This will allow me to have 2 plus or minus. Negative 2 squared, Carly, is? 4. Thank you. Now, negative 4 times 6 times negative 1. Delaney is what? Um, what is it? Positive 24. Why positive, class? Two negatives make a positive. All over. Two. Hannah, two times six is? Two times six? Twelve. Okay. Now, I just have to simplify a little bit. That's 28 over 12. Can I simplify radical 28? What 28? What times what? Four times. Thank you. Okay. This allow me to write two plus or minus under the radical four times seven all over 12. This allowed me to go 2 plus or minus. Can I simplify radical 4? Which is? 2. Can I simplify radical 7? No. Okay. Can I box that up, call it a little day, take a nap? No. Because no. the numerator, don't they have something in common? Well, does the numerator have something in common? 2. two. Take out a 2. If you factor out a 2, what's left? No? Remember, factor means you are going to divide, right? So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 rad 7 divided by 2 is? Rad 7, or 1 rad 7. All over 12. Can I reduce? Can I simplify? Yeah, totally. This is a 1 and this is a 6. So class, final exact answer is 1 plus or minus what? Rad 7. 7 all divisible by 6. six. That's exact. Okay. Now, please punch it in your calculator and give me two decimal answers. Now, whether you simplify on the exact or not, the decimal answer will always give you the same decimal answer with or without simplifying. Um, so... All right, print them in. Let me know the two decimal answers. And Kennedy will, will give me the first one, and Sydney will give me the second one, okay? Whenever you're ready. 0 0.61. Confirm? Yes, Confirm? All right. So, Sydney, whenever you're ready, hon, you can give me the second decimal answer. Point. Someone confirm? confirm? Perfect. Okay. So, oh, yes. Baron and then Brandon. Correct. Decimals will always give you the same decimal. Okay. Just like if I were to do, Baron, 4 divided by 8, it's always going to give me 0. 0.5. But when we reduce that, that's a half, 1 over 2. Brandon? You'll lose credit, for sure. Just like in math, you're going to lose credit if you write 4 over 8 as an answer. Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, so now you have pretty much everything you need to solve under your belt. Okay? The question is, how do you know when to use what? Here we go. You have a blank page. Copy this down. Which method should I use to solve a quadratic equation? The very first method we learned was what? Factoring. 
So if it's factable, use that method. What if it's not factable? What's the second method we learned? Completing, completing the square. Okay. So completing the square, the quickest way, according to this, guys, the quickest way if A is 1 and B is even. Because when I take an even number and the I divide by 2, is that a nice number? Yeah, so that's why completing the square is best when A is 1 and B is even. Now, if 1 is not applicable, method 2 is not applicable, guess what we learned today? Using the quadratic formula. So, yes, Grace. So, if you don't feel comfortable factoring or completing the square, but you feel comfortable both, can you still use quadratic formula? Quadratic formula will always work. Okay. Um, but on your quiz tomorrow, we will ask you to solve it by this, to solve this by this. So, the quiz in the future, like on your test grades, it will say just solve, and then you get to choose. Okay? okay.